Okay, let's understand about the profit and loss appropriation account. Now, basically, you must be wondering what is this profit and loss appropriation account. In case of accounting for partnership, what happens is that uh, you prepare a normal profit and loss account of business. Okay. Where you put in all the incomes and you put in all the expenses. Okay, and once you do that, then basically the difference between these two sides is your profit if the income is greater than expenses or a loss if the expense is greater than income. Now, once you've done that for your normal profit and loss account, this balance is taken out and put into account called profit and loss appropriation account now first let's understand what's the purpose that is this account serves the purpose that this account serves is that it shows distribution of profits or maybe you can instead of distribution you can also use the word appropriation of profits amongst partners okay now once you get this number how is this number actually moving out how is this going to be distributed amongst the partners now we all know that there are certain things which are paid by the company to the partners okay now a firm would pay a partner certain let's say you have a profit and loss situation by profit brought down let's say hundred thousand so basically a profit and loss appropriation account would have certain entries okay it will also have this debit and credit side these entries basically are going to reflect from the perspective of the firm how this profit is distributed amongst partners so when you have a profit and you distribute it there are various forms in which the money can go to the partners it can go to them as salary okay now this salary when I mean I does not mean the salary of the employee it's the salary of the partner the firm can pay them some interest on capital okay it may pay them some commission and finally the share of profit now from the perspective of the firm this distribution of this money is what it's kind of an expense right it is reducing this profit so just like all other expenses that you show in your profit and loss account all these expenses these are a kind of expenses these are payments made by the firm so payments made by the firm are reflected on the debit side of the profit and loss appropriation account but payments made by the firm to the partners and not an outsider okay now just like you know these are the kinds of payment that a firm will make okay Similarly, the firm may also get some kind of income from partners. Now, these are very less in numbers. Let's say, for example, interest on drawings. If the partner has made drawings, he is supposed to pay interest to the firm. 
when the firm gets this interest it's kind of an income for the firm right so therefore it's reflected as a credit in the profit and loss appropriation account i'm also going to take you through separately through all these entries but currently what we are understanding is what is this profit and loss appropriation account similarly if instead of a profit you had a loss this loss is also distributed amongst the partners so when this loss is distributed again you have an entry on the credit side of PNL appropriation account right so this is the limited thing I wanted to tell you about profit and loss appropriation account for various kinds of entries that will be done we'll take some some more separate videos